While we were on our fun North Carolina adventure, a lovely lady reached out to us on Facebook to tell us about her restaurant in Catawba. So we stopped in for a visit. This is Rose and Daisy. Jilda and her son Eric came all the way from New York to open this family-owned Italian restaurant. It's named after Jilda's grandmothers, Rose and Daisy, both of whom came over from Italy to Ellis Island in the early 1900s. Rose's family settled in Brooklyn, and Daisy's in Jersey City, New Jersey. Both of them believed that food and love spoke the same language. To honor their memories almost 100 years later, Jilda opened Rose and Daisy with the mission to serve homemade Italian cuisine made with love. They're using recipes passed down from Jilda's grandmothers, and you can taste the history and love in every bite. Attached to Rose and Daisy is the landmark 1896. It's their event space, and when you walk in, there are so many beautiful table settings to look at. They'll host your event, decorate it, plan it, photograph it, cook for it. So basically, anything you need done for your event, they can do it for you. And at Christmas time, this place will be filled with themed Christmas trees. We'll have to come back to check that out. For lunch, Jilda and Eric went all out. We started with their homemade garlic bread with fresh garlic, toasted to perfection. We also had the caprese salad, which is quickly becoming a favorite of ours. It has fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, and basil with a sweet balsamic glaze and olive oil. Now for the delectable main events. Gnocchi Sorrentino. It's homemade ricotta gnocchi with a fresh marinara sauce, finished with melted fresh mozzarella. The gnocchi was so soft and perfect and delicious, and even looking at this footage makes my mouth water. Pasta Michelangelo. The sauce was so smooth and creamy. It was cooked to al dente perfection, and it was just good, y'all. That's it. Chicken Francis. This chicken. This was a whole new level of yum. It was tender and had such a light, herby, and bright flavor. So flippin' good. Was that it? No. There was dessert. Cannolis, of course. Crispy, then creamy. I am so picky about my cannolis because the cream can tend to be heavy and grainy. Not this. Nuh-uh. This was good. And then we had cheesecake. It was an Italian-style ricotta cheesecake, served plain, with cherry and blueberry. So good. We always find amazing restaurants on our journeys, but this time, they found us. We will be forever grateful to Jilda for reaching out and inviting us in. We walked into strangers, but completely, in every way, walked out as family. We can't wait to dine at Rose and Daisy again. The fresh Italian pasta, made with love, captured our hearts, and we're so glad that it did. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe! It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.